Doodaloo. How's everybody doing? Hope you're having a blessed week. Just, I hope you're having a blessed month. So, anyway, here I am again. This time, I'm going to do a flip of the personal wide custom that I just received from Vendor Spec. And, of course, she had to be pink in one way or another. You know, we had to have pink there somewhere. It's just, gotta, gotta do it. But I put my little ghosty on her. And keep in mind, my little ghosty, I got makeup all over her. So, it kind of makes her look like she pooped herself. Poor little ghosty. <laughs> I was sad because I think this is the cutest little thing, but there's no way I can get that off. It's, you know, unless I make her a little skirt or something to cover up her poop stains, she's going to stay for a while. But anyway, I've got her hooked right now with my Ollie clip. I need to put her around my rings, but I got my pretty lavender Ollie clip on here. It's one of my favorites because I just think the color is so beautiful. Now, this planner is the Napa leather. And... That is extremely, extremely soft leather. I honestly thought it would be pebbled more than it is. Um, but it's more, I mean, it's got texture in it. If you can see it with the light, I don't know. If you can see it, I'm not see there. It's got texture in it, but it's not pebbled or anything. So it's smoother. It's a beautiful leather. I'm, I'm almost worried that it's delicate. And I'm not delicate. I love my planners, but I don't treat them like, you know, oh no, I got a spot on it, <laughs> you know. Obviously, I let my ghost get pooped on, so that tells you something right there. But I love them, and I do like to live in them. So, let me show you what we got going on in here. So, this is the, oh, this, they use weird names for all of it. But it's pink. And I do know this is called the Blanca leather. This is also Napa, but it's just a real, real stark white. Just lovely. And I just wanted something that really contrasted really well. Um, the fun thing about getting a custom made is that you can use two different kinds of leathers. And that makes it so much more fun, you know. So let's have a look, see, shall we? I think I told you in my last video that I got my laminator pouches, so I was able to finally make me some dashboards that I could actually laminate. So I've been playing with that. But here, make, mostly all of this is just transferred over from my other personal wide. You know, I had my, I uh, was carrying my Aurora Estelle, which the colors are very similar between those two. I love that planner, and, you know, I love this one too. Real leather, she's not, but she's still very loved because it's very high quality faux leather. So, if you guys don't want to spend this much, but you still want to get something of really, really great quality, go with Aurora Estelle because it's impressive. I was very upset when they decided um, to feature vegan leathers over real leathers, but honestly, I can't tell the difference in their vegan leather and their real leather. That's how good it is. So... All right, so anyway, I got my pumpkin. Of course, I got this off Etsy at one of the little shops, just like I got her. Uh, this was a freebie. This off Etsy, little Ollie clip. This come out of Planners Anonymous box. Oops. I'd like to put it all the way on the outside because I love the little burlap thing, but it won't really, well, it might would stick in there. I may have to reconfigure because I can't, you know, just let my cute little pumpkin be out of sight either because it just looks perfect with the coloring in it gorgeous and then I got this is just a little doily I think it came out of a again a planners maybe the planner society that's a planners anonymous maybe this is planner society and then I just laminate them this is a laminated piece of paper because it is a leftover from where I made some um dividers you'll see in just a minute here so i had two pieces that weren't quite big enough for dividers i could have made them and put them in my a6 i could still do that but right now i just like it sticking out there and how beautiful that contrast is this of course i made last night cute little fall scene i don't know if you can see the little animals but i got a little hedgehog or maybe a porcupine is it a hedgehog or a porcupine 
a little raccoon, a fox, and a deer, and up there an owl. Isn't that cute? Love stuff like that. And then here, I got a Halloween one that I made. I didn't laminate it. I just made it stick in here, make it cute. And then this is one of the uh, black versions of the pretty pink one that I did. And what I also did, aside from just laminating them, I put, and I wish I had put this on the outside because I put them on the inside and it, of course, makes the, the pouch kind of bubble a little bit. So... You can do it one or two ways. You can either laminate first and then put the stickers on the outside, but that can cause the stickers to sometimes, you know, lift. Or you can do it like this, put them, this on first and then laminate it, and then it's all secure in there, but it is gonna cause you some raising of your laminating paper. And I use three mil, in case you're wondering what size I use, I just use three mil. Um, also from Etsy, uh, this is just another, plastic divider that came with my Kiki K planners that I love and it's pink. And then I also have a currently page. And for me, currently means what month you're in. So monthly, another one of my little dividers that says monthly. The Planner Society, that's where that came from. And then I made this one, a little vellum and then laminated. October so far so and these are all Jane's agenda inserts here next year I think all of mine will be PT paper because I uh, purchased them as well as downloaded some of their stuff and I'm using it that way and then this is PT um, excuse me Jane's agenda's weeklies that came with this kit and she's not making anything like that anymore. I tried to find them because I like, you can't utilize them as far as really detailing out what you might need to do that day. So I do have secondary uh, weekly sheets for that. But I just thought they were real cute for making little habit trackers like that. And now this, I can't remember where it came from, but these bows were actually a bag that some inserts that I purchased came in. I love bows, you guys know this. So I just took the bag, it was really thin paper, and I laminated it. And I love the way that turned out. I think that's so pretty. Love it, love it. Also made this one for fall. And then there's more. This is the week we're currently on, about to flip over to this week. And then here are the other weeklies I was telling you about. So. This is just a this week thingy. But these are dated. So yeah, so see these are dated. They do not have a habit tracker. I do have some, PT Paper also offers them where you can get habit trackers down here if you want to. She has several different kinds of layouts. There's Halloween week. You can also get them undated and you can buy them um, already printed and she'll send them to you, or you can do, get them in a um, digital file that you download and print out yourself. So very versatile, very, very versatile. Another one of the pretties I made. This one says my list, and that's basically, I don't have really any list yet there, so <laughs> it's just there because I had to put something there. November, haven't decorated her yet. I put some fall leaves in there. And then there's another vellum that I printed out and laminated. And I think these are November's weeklies. Yeah, November's weeklies there. You can see what it looks like before decoration. So, and then this is an emotional, your mood tracker that I have. And then I will, after I still have a bunch of those. I've got those in printable uh, format so I can print out as many as I want. But I also got this one from the planner spot. And I love it. So, I mean, you can just go down the list of different things to check off. And it's for the entire month. So, those are pretty nice. Finances or lack thereof because I buy planners all the time. Happy fall. I'll flip those financial pages out of the way. 
another happy fall. I didn't go back and laminate this one, although I really, really wanted to. I've, I may just print out another one because when you do laminate them, if you've already pre-cut them, then the you can't get them exactly centered because the laminate the laminate will fall over to the side just a little bit. So I just think that's just beautiful. I think it's so pretty. And then here's my day is in this one. And I just have a bunch of different ones. If you guys know me at all, you know how I am about dailies. I have some printed backwards and everything. But, like, there's two different kinds. This one is from Yag Narani. That's very hard to say. It's N-A-R-A-N-J. And then this one is from... Do or is it's D O A A? I think inspiring designs. You'll find them all on Etsy. I think they're very pretty. And these are from So Much Crafting. This one I made. I've got a few of those. Uh, I just have some regular paper in there. So sometimes I'll just make you know use these to make my own dailies. This one, I forget where it's from. I think Peanuts Planner Cut. I think, I think. Not sure. Uh, that's another one that I made. Also another one that I made. And it, I think that's all. Yeah, that's all the dailies. I just, I love using different dailies. Uh, different sizes, different, you know, designs, different formats, all of that. You can probably tell that. And then here's my end box. And... Her I love. I just love this little one. I need to make one that I can actually laminate too. This says personal, so it's all my personal information. Now, this one is my main health planner. So, it has quite a list of personal information in here. Especially medical. So, all my doctors. Uh, doctor's notes, medications, appointments, and all that fun stuff are all in here. So, I'm just going to keep that personal. Yeah. I'm going to have to buy some more um, or find some and print them. Um, doctor visits inserts because I've used up most of mine because I visit the doctor so frequently. And also with this one, I only got one uh, pin loop. So, I need to. So, what I decided to do is just carry my pins in here. And if I think I'm going to need, the, you know, I always have a pouch on me with my liners and everything on it. So, I always have a pouch. But this pen, I love this pen. It is a Sarasa Zebra. And what is it called? I forget which one's called. But this um, is a metal pen. So, you know, you can get refills for it. But it writes amazing. Very smooth. Very pigmented. I think I got it off of... Um, Amazon, and they have different colors of the of this as well as this here, and they're like eight dollars and something. But that's because they're refillable. But this one has a point seven point on it, and it's still very much. Let's see, see that M? See how pigment it is? It's just pretty. It's just smooth. I love pens. <laughs> I think we all know this about me, too. I love them. Well, we've all talked about how most of us that love planning and planners and things like that are just, have always been girls that just pure and simply love to walk into an office, you know, an office supply place and just go ham. I remember, you know, back to school, the only thing I looked forward to back to school-wise was getting my new school supplies, and I was really happy about that every year. The rest of it, and eh, not so much. But, man, I remember one year I found the cutest Snoopy notebook binder and loved that thing all year long. But, anyway, there she is. If you got any questions about Vanderspeck and, you know, anything like that, you can leave it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer. But you can also just go to their uh, web page. And look at the different things they have, different options they have. The next time, I would really, um, I think I'm going to get just a TM leather, which is their buffalo leather. 
that's what all their touch me planners that they sell, you know, pre already made and everything um, is made up. And it's just, it's very soft. It's very supple. It's very textured and it's tough. Very hard to mess up that leather. It's tough. So they have this, what they call a wait list, which is a uh, different kinds of leathers that different colors and stuff that they don't keep in their shop all the time. They have to have a certain number of people that want planners made of that particular hide before they'll order it. Um, but the colors are phenomenal. And if you've got enough money to drop on a genuine ostrich planner, they have the most beautiful colors I have ever seen in my life for their ostrich planners. I wish they would offer those colors in other leathers for those of us who cannot afford ostrich, but oh my goodness, the colors are just, they've got one called Canterbury Bells, and it's almost like a very light um, lavender uh, periwinkle. Oh, just gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, guys, there she is, the one I've been waiting for for so, so very, very, very long. Can't wait to see how, you know, she softens and that's the fun with leather planners is watching them as they are being used and, and the different um, characteristics they take on makes them very individual to the person. So I hope you liked it. But anyway, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.